All right, so I'm going to draw this and talk. And uh, I haven't done a video in a while, so figured I would do this. This is just the back of, um, did some really simple human sketches, human heads. Uh, been trying this new technique, and uh, so far it's been working out pretty well. And I'm just going to make these really rough, uh, not worry too much about making them really finished. Just kind of quickly ink them, and as I do, just kind of explain what's going to happen throughout this year. I kind of want to get the channel up and running again. I took a break because I wasn't really seeing, um, you know, viewership, and I focused mostly on my daily sketches and Instagram, so I didn't really, because of that, I didn't really have time. That plus my job and all my other pr priorities and commitments, I didn't really have time to do as many videos as I kind of wanted to, so... <clears throat> I just kind of put the channel on the back burner, even though I, I had planned to um, to do as much as possible. I, it just kind of fell by the wayside because I wasn't really seeing any uh, any fruit out of all the time that I was investing into making it work. Um, I also had some uh, family issues and stuff like that. Had to take care of all of that. Um, everything's much better. We're hoping for the best in everything. But yeah, anyway, don't want to talk too much about that. Now I'm going to fix the neck here because it looks terrible, so I'm just going to fix it and put a little collar here. I'm just kind of, again, I'm making these really rough, but you can kind of see the new technique I'm using, which is to, um, to kind of have like the shape of the head here, I'll draw it here, kind of have like the shape of the head, so let's say we have that as our shape, and then um, just kind of have like these like these ovals and these ovals all kind of dictate where everything is going to go so based on these ovals I know the nose goes somewhere there the eye is somewhere in this pocket this is where the ear goes this is kind of where the hair and then the mouth and this is like this is a really bad drawing but you get the idea and then from the front you would have like the top oval and then you know that it kind of comes down like this but you would have these two sides like the sides of the cheek basically and this is just because I have a really hard time making people look up like making them look up is really tough for me so this kind of just helps me like stay on track with where I want these guys to look and um, kind of inch their nose upward and all that stuff kind of like this guy here kind of see that and uh, <clears throat> I'll show this just cuz but this is on Instagram um, more of a finished sketch. This year on Instagram I'm kind of going to do less um, daily sketches and more just finished pieces so they'll be a little bit less frequent but they'll be better quality I think. I really like this drawing. Uh, I'm not too sure I think this is a bit wide. Uh, of course I can pick it apart if I really wanted to but overall it's one of my better drawings of someone looking with their head tilted upward and then looking down because before this before I started doing this technique and you kind of see me practicing it back here as well. Just kind of practicing a little bit with this, uh, especially down here. This is a really good one, actually. Uh, just practicing with that technique. But before that technique, I just all my people who looked up or down looked really ridiculous. So it's kind of nice to have something, some kind of uh, to show progress and stuff. Anyway, let me just draw this guy. So yeah, so I'm going to try to be a little bit more consistent with YouTube this year and uh, turn out some stuff. I'm actually recording this in my school because I have a nice clamp. And um, that's kind of nice because then I can just use that. And this guy's going to have really like ghetto 90s hair, like Keanu Reeves level of ghetto. And we're going to actually give him an Adam's apple. And something like that. And yeah, I just kind of want to continue to do like, you know, sketch videos, how to draw, and my process and my thought processes when I draw and stuff like that. And again, it's not that I'm like super pro, not even. But, you know, if I could, if it could help someone, that's cool. And I, I know there's people out there who are like wanting to draw but feel like they really can't. And um, look, if I could do it, you can do it. I guarantee you that. Uh, not really sure where I'm going with this drawing. I feel like uh, 
feel like it's kind of a lost drawing. It doesn't really have a purpose. It's just... And we'll give them like this really sharp... Sharp features. Something like that. Again, these are really loose drawings. They're not supposed to be like finished works of art. Just something for me to talk over. <clears throat> I'll probably have my next video be something a little bit more, you know, cool or more than just some head sketches. But um, for now, and hopefully my hand isn't blocking too much. For now, yeah, uh, New Year was well. The rest of the year went by pretty well. Again, I was just really swamped with daily sketching. I, at the end of the year, I was rushing to do several sketches a day just to catch up because I had fallen behind. I had taken a break because I switched jobs and, uh, yeah, and I needed a lot of time to kind of adjust to my new job. It was a little bit rougher than I expected, but it's working out. It's just, you know, when you, when you start something new and it doesn't really feel the way you want it to feel right away, don't just stop, you know, don't. And the worst thing you can do is, like, compare and say, like, oh, over there in that one other place it was better that's the worst thing you could do to yourself because you're not going to get anything good out of that there's there's nothing good sitting in that in that conversation it's just a waste of time and energy and just you can better invest your your resources and by resources i mean yourself again these are super rough please excuse me if they're horrible and you look at it like oh my god uh, let's make this guy really mad, actually. We're going to make him super thick, angry eyebrows. And he's going to be super mad. This is like Super Saiyan levels of mad. And when someone's mad, they get a lot of wrinkles right there on their nose. And right here, like on their on their upper, like on top of their eyebrows, they get a lot of those like anger lines. And then this, like their nostrils flare up. So, so we kind of get a lot of that. And we'll give him a bit of a grimace. He's kind of upset. Um, that's not a demarcation on my mood. It's just his position of his face is very downward facing. And I kind of want to show really straightforward. I'm using a moleskin. And kind of see here. Just saw Star Wars. Amazing movie. Um, did I draw it on here? I don't think I did. Or did I? I don't even remember. I think I drew like a BB-8 thumbs up kind of thing. I'm not sure where I drew that actually. I just went through a whole... Tried to draw as much Star Wars as I could. Got like Poe Dameron. Flynn. Or Finn. Oh my gosh, Flynn. And just some really rough sketches. We got Ray. I like the sketch. This one's terrible. We watched the Lord of the Rings marathon with some friends. My wife was playing Zelda. Some architecture stuff, more architecture stuff. Again, it's just a sketchbook. I don't really focus them too much or anything. Old Man Logan. Uh, Superman, but with colored pencils. I don't really draw with colored pencils. That's pretty cool. Um, some rough sketches. I think I posted this one because it's my favorite one. More. It's just kind of creature designs. Kind of cool. Uh, another one that I was going to color, and then I thought, nah, I'll just stop it there and then we're back here so let's finish this drawing yeah I mean I'm hoping to do one video every two weeks and just kind of keep to that that pattern I don't want to overwhelm myself and commit to like tons of videos uh, you know a month like four videos a month uh, one a week but I, I think I can do like one every couple of weeks and just kind of um, just kind of go from there. Let me draw this guy with like a jacket or something. And yeah, he needs a jacket because all angry people wear a jacket when they're angry. And I'll delete the. I usually do this off camera, but I'll do it here so you can kind of see. I I don't do like the most recent sketch because it might still be wet. So I'll do the other ones. And once you get rid of the pencils underneath, a rough sketch can give you something really nice. And there's something really kinetic in, um, oh god, I should probably hold that. There's something really kinetic in doing a really fast sketch. And that's that you get a lot of energy in it that if you take your time with something, you lose that energy. Because every line is methodically thought out and everything is perfectly drawn. 
So everything may look flawless, but it also looks, I want to say, lifeless a bit. I learned that just by watching people like Cynics and uh, Sikra. And um, they tend to do fast and loose, and I kind of really enjoy that style. Because even though you may get... Let me just clean this real quick. Even though you may get some awkward sketches, you may also get something that looks kind of cool, or something that looks very alive, very kinetic, I want to say, very, very much in action. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. If you want, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram or check out my Etsy store to see if there's any art you'd like to purchase. You can also check out last week's video by simply clicking on the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Take care.